Talking about tourism, should Northern Ireland get a reduced rate of VAT to help some sectors of the industry here? DUP members are calling for the executive to press the Treasury to do just that. Here's one of the idea's proposers, the DUP's Simon Hamilton. There is a demand to look at things that could be done to assist the sector. And one su suggested solution is to reduce the rate of VAT for the hospitality sector and some tourism-related services. This is an issue that has been pushed by the likes of the pubs of Ulster, um, by, other, uh, by the hotel sector and indeed by others. Uh, and I've been um, encouraged by the contacts that I've had over the last number of days from people from restaurant sector, from, from pubs and from uh, hotels. Uh, the, the context for this is there was a unanimous decision taken um, by all 27 uh, EU finance ministers to use reduced VAT for restaurants and catering. Hotels had been able to reduce their VAT since our governments have been able to reduce VAT for hotels since 1975. And the decision on food and restaurants and catering was taken as uh, allowed to be enabled from the 1st of January of 2010. So those who would say that our government at Westminster aren't interested in this subject, our government at Westminster, their representatives in the EU voted for this, and if they think it's good enough for the whole of the EU, then you would think they might be interested in it for the UK itself. 21 EU states have uh, lower VAT for hotels, and some 13 have availed of this ability to reduce for the hospitality sector and have lower VAT for, for food. And, and I mean, the simple question is why would so many EU member states pursue a policy of lower VAT for hospitality and for tourism related services if indeed it didn't work and you know, had a meaningful positive impact on their economy? You look at Germany, have a 7% for food and hotels, the French have 5.5% uh, for restaurants and hotels, and they have seen uh, an increase in the number of apprenticeships and the number of jobs. They've seen wages go up as well, and they've seen staff turnover go down. But we don't have to go to France or Germany or any of uh, the mainland European countries to see the, the benefit of our reduced VAT for the hospitality sector. We just have to look south of the border to the Irish Republic and to look at the example and experience that they have had. One of the proposers of the VAT motion is the DUP's David McElveen, who's uh, with us now. Um, David McElveen, an interesting idea, many people think, but surely not likely to cut much ice with Treasury officials in London. Well, Mark, I think this is going to be a process. Um, I think if Northern Ireland can take the lead uh, on this particular issue, I'm very confident that other devolved assemblies will, will take a similar view. And hence, a united approach, I think, will put some pressure on Treasury. And just to be absolutely clear, you're suggesting that this would be a change for everybody right across the UK, not just a derogation for Northern Ireland? That's correct, because there, there are European rules in place uh, when it comes to uh, deviation of VAT rates. Um, so this would be a UK-wide strategy. But it could potentially cost us money in Northern Ireland, couldn't it? Well, I think we have to look at the bigger picture. I mean, conservative estimates are saying 3,300 jobs could be created as a result of this. And I think we have to take a very holistic approach to this. At the end of the day, new job creation doesn't come from nowhere. Um, there are initiatives going on that the First Minister and the, and the Finance Minister and the Enterprise Minister have been involved in. Um, but financial stimulus is also a very effective way of creating jobs. But, but you know how painful the process has been surrounding the efforts to change uh, the rate of corporation tax in Northern Ireland. I mean, that has been an agonised and an agonising debate for a very, very long period of time, many, many years. So if this VAT thing happens, it, it's going to be, you know, in the next parliament. It's going to take time. I think we would accept that. Um, but first of all, you know, corporation tax was very much an issue around the land border. This is also around the land border. But we have to remember that this initiative will not cost the block grant. This will be a, a nationwide initiative, uh, and certainly we're very confident that we can we can take this message to Treasury. Uh, and do you think there would be support for it just briefly in Wales and Scotland and England? Well, I think if we can see if they can see the benefits of it, then that's obviously important. Well, we'll see. David McElveen, thanks very much indeed for uh, coming in to join Thank us. You. Now